Hi, I am Kay Collier, a museum educator at Crystal Bridges Museum of American Art, and this is Bridging the Gap, a series of digital art engagements. In this segment, we will be looking at It Is Very Queer, Isn't It? by James Henry Beard. It will be helpful to have paper and something to write with to respond to the prompts in this video. Please pause the video to collect what you need. Before we get started discussing this work of art, let's take a few moments to look closely at it. Start by letting your gaze wander around the work of art, taking notice of some of the details, such as the colors the artist is using and objects you recognize in the painting. Please pause the video to give yourself a few moments to look. Now that you have looked closely at this work of art, we are going to do an activity called looking five times two. I want you to get your paper and pencil and write down five things that you see in this work of art. Pause the video to write your five items. Now I want you to look more closely at the work of art and write down five new things that you see. Pause the video to write your five new items. Let's discuss what you wrote. Did anyone write down the monkey sitting in the chair? It's hard not to notice him, isn't it? Do you notice anything unusual about this monkey? What is he doing? He appears to be thinking about something, doesn't he? This monkey is actually a chimpanzee. If you were a chimpanzee, what would you think about? What is another item you wrote on your list? Did anyone notice that the chimpanzee is holding a paper in his hand? Did anyone write down the books in the room? It appears that the chimpanzee is reading the paper and maybe he has already read the books. Do you think that is an unusual thing for a chimpanzee to do? We noticed that the chimpanzee appears to be reading a paper. What is that paper? Can you see the writing on it? It's called Darwin's Descent of Man. Have you ever heard of the scientist named Charles Darwin? He is a scientist who studied the theory of evolution, a scientific theory that outlines how species of plants and animals can change over long periods of time. Next, did you happen to write down the skulls on your list of items? Why do you think they are there? They appear to be the skull of a monkey and the skull of a human. Why do you think that the artist would include these items in the painting? Let's try to figure out what this artist is telling us. Do you think that the artist is telling us a story about the chimpanzee? How do the items we discussed help to tell that story? I think it's quite unusual to see a monkey thinking, reading, sitting at a table, and living in a house. Who usually does those activities? You do. Are you a chimpanzee? No, you are a human. The artist appears to be having this chimpanzee do things that are usually done by humans. The artist is having the animal do human activities, and this is called personification. I think the artist is wanting us to think about how humans and chimpanzees are similar and how the scientific theory of evolution can make them even more similar over time. 
The theory of evolution was widely debated in 1885, the time that this painting was made. The artist appears to be using the chimpanzee to get us to think about the scientific theory of evolution. But the artist is not necessarily supporting that theory, but rather telling us about a subject that was new and thought provoking at the time that this art was made. Thank you for watching. This has been Bridging the Gap from Crystal Bridges.